Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is going to be my first flight attendant story time video. Before we begin, make sure you go down below and hit that subscribe button. Also, do not forget to hit that little bell to turn on notifications. And while you're down there, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Hey, so, I was on a flight from Charlotte, North Carolina to Fort Lauderdale, and I was working in the back of the aircraft that day. So I go up to start my service. Let me just preface this by telling you guys that this was at my last airline. And on that aircraft, we had seats that were extra legroom seats and these seats were for sale and they there was a charge for these seats. So if they were empty, you still had to pay for them. Anyways, I start my service and I noticed that a lady moved into a row that had an extra legroom seat. She sat beside one of her friends. So I get there and I say, Hi, this is an extra legroom seat and unfortunately there's a charge for this seat. Or I'm gonna have to ask you to move back to your original seat, I'm sorry. So then the guy sitting beside her looked at me. Are you kidding me? Yes, sir, unfortunately, you know, these seats have a cost to them and it's not fair to the passengers who paid. You gonna make a woman move? Unfortunately, there is a charge, I'm just doing my job. Then he says to me, Get out of my face. And then he calls me. <laughs> The word that rhymes with maggot. Yeah. So anyways, she moved back to her seat. I then go to the back of the aircraft to let my number one flight attendant know. I pick up the phone and let her know that, hey, hey we're having, we have an passenger, just letting you know the situation, what's going on. He's pretty pissed off at me because of the extra legroom seats. I hang up the phone, I continue to do my service, and as I'm walking back towards the front of the airplane, he's coming towards the back. So we're in, we're in the aisle and obviously like you know I gotta turn to the side. So let me just tell you he was this big, tall, like big bouncer looking guy. I should have probably told you guys that at the beginning. Big, tall, bouncer, huge looking man. Very, very intimidating, okay? Anyways, he's walking towards me on the back of the airplane and I'm going towards the front and we're in the aisle so I kinda like have to like turn to the side, you know, like to like, help him like get past me and so I can get past him. Well, let me just tell you, when we did that, he shoved me like in the aisle and I almost fell over. And oh no, he did it! Yes, he did. He shoved me in the aisle. So then, I quickly went to the back of the aircraft, picked up the phone. Meanwhile, this man was in the bathroom. Picked up the phone, called my number one flight attendant. Hey, this passenger just shoved me in the middle of the aisle. I want the cop to meet the aircraft. Then I hung up on her, then I called the pilot. Hey, so I hang up the phone. At this point, I'm like shaking up and my heart is pounding and I can't believe that just shoved me and assaulted me in the, the aircraft. My number one flight attendant comes to the back of the airplane. Meanwhile, let me just tell you guys that she is an ex NYPD retired officer. So she became a flight attendant after she retired from the NYPD. So she comes to the back of the airplane to like talk to me. And then as she's back there, the man is still in the restroom. So as he's coming out of the restroom, he flings the door open. I guess he knew I was back there. He was trying to like hit me with the door. But meanwhile, my NYPD number one flight attendant, he stuck her foot in the way of the door and the door stopped right on her foot. So she tells him, Is it true you pushed him? And he goes, No, I didn't push him. And then I go, Oh, yes you did. He goes back to his seat. And I said, I definitely want this aircraft met by authorities once we land in Fort Lauderdale. We finally get on the ground, we land in Fort Lauderdale, I, my heart is pounding and I'm really nervous because I'm about to get this guy arrested. So we get to the jet bridge, I call the number one flight attendant and I say, hey, are the cops there? And she says, no, no they're not here yet. And I'm like, oh, okay, well, it's better than get away. So I hang up and I'm just hoping the whole time, because I'm in the back of the airplane, I don't know anything that's going on up front, so I'm hoping the whole time that you know, the police are gonna show up before this guy exits the aircraft. Finally, everyone's off of the airplane and I go out of the front and I'm like, what happened? Did the police show up? And they're like, no, the police never showed up. The guy got away. And I was like, what? I was so upset and disappointed. I'm like, he just got away with it? So anyways, at that moment, um, my company called me so I can file a report with them over the phone as to the incident that occurred on the aircraft that day. I get all myself off the aircraft, really bummed. I'm getting off the airplane and then that's when I see five sheriff officers coming down the jet bridge. Five of them. And I'm like, Really? This is the me that show up? Yeah, at this point they're already late, the guy's long gone, and they're like, okay, where's the guy? I said, um, he's long gone. My, meanwhile, let me just tell you guys that we had reported this, that we needed security to meet the aircraft probably an hour before we landed. They had plenty of time 
for the police officers to be at the aircraft waiting for this man once we arrived. So they wanted to file a report. I filed a report with the police officers. They asked me if I, if I wanted to press charges. I basically had to like do it on my own and I had to go to court and all this stuff. And I wasn't about to do that. So anyway, that was that. And basically justice was not served. This passenger shoved me on the aircraft. The police showed up way too late and the passenger just took off and he didn't even have to deal with the consequences of his actions. And that's gonna be my flight attendant story time for today. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure once again you give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Also, do not forget to subscribe down below. Have a great day, everybody. Mwah.